Two men accused of breaking into two businesses in Mitchell County last night are behind bars this afternoon. Philip and Calvin Metcalf are facing several felony and misdemeanor charges. News 13's Megan Sharing shows us how authorities were able to track them down after the crimes occurred. The businesses are located right next door to each other here on 226 North in Loafers Glory. Thanks to surveillance video, the two suspects were in custody within hours of the break-ins. Bonnie and Clyde's restaurant. It's a place where folks in the area come to get a good bite to eat. Late Sunday night, when no one was working, two men had a different reason for stopping by. Well, I was in the bed last night at 10, 17, and my phone rung, and the Dogtown Connections called and said we had been broken into. The Mitchell County Sheriff's Office says 25-year-old Philip Metcalf and 20-year-old Calvin Metcalf broke into the restaurant. They had broke our door in, the beauty shop door in, and took our register. Surveillance cameras captured the crime on tape. It's just an invasion of privacy, you know. I mean, even though it is a business, it's your personal stuff that they're messing with. Detectives say Philip Metcalf told them he acted as the lookout, while Calvin Metcalf kicked in the door and stole the restaurant's cash register. The door of Don't Tease Me Hair and Nail Salon was also kicked in, but the owner's husband says fortunately nothing was missing. You could tell they was doing something over here, and you could see them walking around out here and getting in and out of the truck. And i seen them point toward the camera up there above the restaurant. Authorities say they were able to get a vehicle description from the video, too. They had tail light out, brake light out on the passenger side, and a parking light out. So we, we give them good descriptions from the video. And a be on the lookout was issued. A short time later, the two were pulled over in Avery County. The sheriff's office says the $31 taken from Bonnie and Clyde's was found in their truck. Reporting in Bakersville, Megan Shearing, News 13. The sheriff's office was also able to connect Philip and Calvin Metcalf to a break-in that happened in Spruce Pine on Friday. Both men are being held on $65,000 bond.